Alright, it's really dark out. It's about 5 a.m. Getting ready to go. Car's loaded up, as you saw yesterday. Truck's over there. We just try to snap a picture and then we're out. John's got to get gas for his car and I'm just filling up the truck. Not bad.
All right, so first outing, um, it was like a lead follow, but I uh, started getting on it. The car feels good. Started getting a little warm towards the end, so I pulled off early. So far, so good. My friend Wes and John are here. Wes is the one with the GT3 RS, and John is the one with the did the ride along in the GT3 RS. So uh, link that video up here. Go check that one out again. Um, this car sounds fantastic. Not too bad. I got three sessions done. Um, the car's holding up pretty good. Um, once the temps get up a little high, I start letting off of it, which no big deal. Having having some fun. Car's holding up good. Um, dealing with some understeer right now. That's the the main issue. So lowered the pressure in the front. Um, went up some clicks on the dampers in the rear and lowered the front down a little bit. We'll see how it works this next session. Because um, I only did the suspension adjustments for the beginning of the third, um, and. We run into the same problem. So lower the front tire pressure, hopefully it gives me a little more traction. So, uh, fourth session done, I definitely forgot to turn off the GoPro. Alright, so fourth session is done. <clears throat> Lowering the tire pressure in the front helped it drastically. Um, I feel like I was sending it pretty good. Uh, my track, uh, I'm using Track Addict as an app to do the lap times. Um, I feel like it didn't pick up as good um, this last session because it was actually um, slower. But I know for a fact I was keeping up with guys that were faster than me last time. So, um, and my car got hotter. So I guess I was sending it a little bit more. Did about 
seven, eight laps, I think, um, maybe 10, and then decided to call it for the session. Um, I don't want to overheat the car, I don't want to fuck anything up, but uh, it's going pretty good so far, and I mean, pretty damn good. Pretty, pretty happy with the performance of the car. Um, yeah. There was a fly in here and it's annoying the shit out of me. Um, yeah, so, uh, welcome to present day. Um, all the track day footage you just saw was from two weeks ago. Um, and doing the, going over the footage now, I just remember, I, well, going over the footage, um, I realized I never filmed like a little bit of an outro. Or any bit of an outro, so. Let's give a little, um, synopsis of what happened, uh, throughout the day. Then we'll end this video. So, Pocono's North Course. Car performed... Car exceeded my expectations, especially for an engine that I built myself. Now I have a lot more faith in this car, not just blowing up at any time. So that's a big plus. Things I need to address, I guess, if I want to do another track day, especially in the in the summertime, um, cooling. So after a bunch of laps, I, I wouldn't even say a bunch of laps. After after some laps, the coolant and the oil were getting up there in temperature. I believe my oil hit like. I don't even remember what temperature. I can't even. I can't even tell you what temperature. But it was like 230, 240, <laughs> 240. Coolant was up there too. Um, coolant overflow or the top of the thing. You got stung by a bee. Was I before I got rudely interrupted? Uh, cooling needs needs some uh, attention after after some, after a few laps. Uh, coolant started getting up there. Uh, oil started getting up there in temperature. I believe it started spewing out a little bit from the radiator cap. Um, I cleaned it, but there was some spatter on the inside of the car. No big deal. Did a cool down lap. It started to cool down. wasn't bad. Um, I drove the car today, which is a video you'll see next week. Car still works. So big plus with that. Uh, what else? I don't have a rear sway bar in the car, and I don't know if my car came with one or it was deleted. I've been trying to do a little bit of a re little bit of research, and I believe the maybe the SEs. Came with a sway bar and base models didn't come with the sway bars. Might look into doing a sway bar, a rear sway on the car because going into turns at the track, the car was actually understeering. And I know it's a 240, everyone drifts their 240s. This car didn't want to drift at all. I was almost like, I considered clutch kicking it, I didn't just to try to get it to kick out, but it was, it didn't want to go. Tire pressure. I believe it was 35 all around. I wound up lowering the front down to like 27 and it helped drastically with the, the understeer. But next track day, I'm definitely gonna play with tire pressures more. And if I do the rear sway, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it yet or, or not, but it's always an option. Um, the truck worked great for the towing. I don't know if the Adelief does anything. I don't actually think it helps with the towing capacity, but it helps with the payload. So I guess kind of, um, the trailer weighing it down more. I guess it doesn't sag as much, whatever. It was sagging a little bit in the rear, not even that much. And obviously the towing is no problem because I just, I towed this car with my old truck, which was actually a Chevy Colorado also, but it was the Z71. This one, ZR2, off-roady edition, different suspension and stuff. So wasn't sure how it was gonna react, but worked out great. So I think that's it. I might wind up throwing out a, I know it's getting a little long-winded now, but I might wind up throwing out just like a raw footage of just the GoPro uh, of doing some laps. Look out for that. So if you're interested in that at all, to see my horrible lines around the track and how bad I am at this stuff, noob. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, comment, and all that stuff. So if, if you uh, grip, if you grip drive your 240 and you know how to get a little bit more traction on the front, um, let me know. Also want to look into brakes. I did upgrade the brakes, but might look into another upgrade of the brakes, but that'll come in time. Thanks for joining me. Leave some comments and race car stuff. Peace.